Just a few months ago, the whole world was normal. Even a few weeks ago, it was a problem for a few countries and the rest of us could watch them like we watch movies. Now, the movie characters have become everyone, so we're all locked in. While this is a strange thing, I've always learned to look for how to maximize in every situation. So, in today's video, I'll be sharing with you the three things you have to avoid to maximize this crazy period so that you might get out of this tunnel a better person. If you're an entrepreneur or an ambitious person, we specially invite you to join our motivational channel which was designed to give you daily inspirations so that you will have the strength to pursue and achieve your most important dreams. We call this channel Hunt TV and you can join in the description box. 1. Avoid too much news About 13 years ago, while I was still in school, the school went on a long crazy strike. In my country, what this means is that the teachers were protesting against the government. So they stopped working for an extended period, about three months. For most students, that was a great time to have fun. It was time to sit watching the television, since mobile phones weren't as popular at that time, and spend 10 hours every day watching the news, entertainment, or playing a video game. For me, the opposite was the case. I locked myself indoor and read like 10 hours every day. Now that the whole world is indoor, the easiest thing to do is to spend 12 hours every day consuming news and entertainment. But that is the worst thing to do because news and entertainment don't add much to your life. Yes, you need to listen to the news and consume a few entertainment videos, but that shouldn't be your work at all. Instead, set new exciting goals for yourself. For example, I have an elderly friend who told me how he read two books in about two days or so during this period. This is something he wouldn't have done if the world is normal as before. I'm not in any way suggesting that you should read two books per day. I'm only suggesting that you should fill up your day with productive activities so that you won't have too many hours a day in front of your phone. If for example you've been dreaming of becoming a writer before now, you can set a goal of finishing a short novel within one or two months. You can have an inspiration for your novel right with the strange things going on now. If your dreams have always been to learn how to play an instrument, you can set a goal to master an instrument in one or two months. If your dream has always been to become a great scientist, now you can search for 10 biographies of your favorite scientists and read them in one month. You get my point. Just set bigger goals and be busy so that you don't waste all this time on news or entertainment. 2. Avoid living in today About 7 years ago, my elder brother called me and told me something like, You said you want to become rich and here you are after many years, you are still wearing my cloth. Yes, at that time I was so poor that I couldn't afford to buy clothes, so I was wearing his cloth. But that wasn't the whole story. Another exciting story was that I had tried and failed in many things which would in few years make me richer than him, but he couldn't see that because he could only see what my life looked like in that period. Here is my observation about humans. We focus too much about what is going on right now. While I'm not suggesting that you become careless at this period, I'm suggesting that you take your eyes away from current happenings a few time and look at the future when we would have been out of this. While I allow positive fear to control my life this period for not going out carelessly, I also get busy indoor, just as if everything is normal because I know that when this whole drama eventually gets to the end, people who will be better financially are people who strategically plan for its end. So as much as I want you to be careful about going out, I also advise that you leave in tomorrow. See what the world might look like after this drama gets to the end and start preparing for that era right now. 3. Not spending enough time with yourself If you followed this channel for a long time, you might have noticed that I had talked a few times about knowing yourself. I firmly believe that one of the reasons most people fail in life is because they have no idea about who they are. This is pathetic if you think about it. The only reason we can use a phone effectively is that we know the features of a phone. The only reason we can drive our cars effectively is that we know what a car can do. If we don't know the capacity of a computer, how can we use it effectively? If we think a pen was designed to play us music, how fruitless would our efforts have been to make a pen sing? So in my observation about life, I've discovered that, above anything else, People must first know themselves before they can become successful. This is simple math if you ask me. Just imagine the analogy of the pen I used. If you don't know what your pen can do and you assume it should play you a song, how would you use the pen effectively? Now, why don't people know themselves? Ouch, it's a busy world. A crazy world if you think about it. In the city where I live, people get out of bed by 4am or 5am and rush out of home. Then return at night. So many work on weekends or do some courses. People don't know themselves because they hardly have any time to spend with themselves. Think about this. You can't know anyone except you spend time alone with them. So it is that you cannot know yourself except you spend time with yourself. Now that we are all indoor, 
one of the best things you can do is to throw away your phone half an hour every day and just be with yourself. Think about who you are, especially who you were as a child. Think about the decisions you've made and the dreams you had nurtured as a child. Think about what you would have done with your life if there's no money in the world because that is likely to be your true passion. Don't be discouraged if you seem not to have gotten anywhere after a few times of trying this. Like anything in life, self-discovery might be gradual, but the pain is eventually worth it. The essence of this video is very simple. I don't waste too much time even though I'm indoors. Yes, I probably watch more news now than before but I do it often after I have invested reasonable hours in my day. Even though it's difficult sometimes, I try to see the end of this whole drama so I am looking at the world after this calamity. This could give you courage and reason to prepare for such a world. Now that you are probably indoors, it might be a good investment to spend time with the most important person in the world, you, to know who you really are. I wish you the best of luck and safety as we all fight for our very lives during this period. And just before you go, watch other videos on YouTube. If you are an entrepreneur or an ambitious person, we invite you to join our motivational channel. The objective of the channel is to give you daily inspiration so that you will have the strength to pursue and achieve your most important dreams. We call this channel Hunt TV and you can join in the description box. We love you.